socially illiterate. I know damn sure that Miranda deliberately stays away from you. It's not in your head. You're a bottom feeding mouth breather. You're worthless. This one sure is a doozy, huh, Kev? Maybe for you. Maybe for you. Gosh, Kevin, can't you relax a little bit? When's the last time anyone has said doozy unironically? Some of us can't afford to relax. The stoic prodigy speaks his mind. A rarity. I mean, seriously, talk about flow state. This board placement, the openings. You can't learn this. Oh, no, you quite, quite literally can, Kev. You know, if I had your... Forget it. Please, Herb. Can we get through one game without your jokes? Sure, sure. All work, no play. I get it. I do. For the prodigies of the world, you know, it's tough. No fun until 65, right? Gulp is right, buddy. I'm thirsty. You're fucked. Please, Herb. If this is what you call charm, then we... You know, Kevin, I do think later on in life, you're gonna have a lot of trouble if chess is the only reason you're communicating. I mean, when's the last time we had a conversation that wasn't about chess? Did I lose you for a second? Playing chess, why wouldn't we talk about chess? Because you can't fathom talking about anything else. Fuck you, Herb. Well, I'm not afraid to move more than a pawn, so... Let's see here. Ah, yes, the queen. My queen. What a lucky guy the king is. Hey, uh, Kevo. Bobby Fischer ever married? I don't think so, Herb. He actually was, but it was only the last four years of his life. It was probably all because of his success and not because of his personality. So what I'm saying is, Kev, I guess there's a hope for you after all. Does this count as a conversation about chess? It's like the third button touch. No. Stupid thing is so annoying. Stupid thing? Yeah, my dad keeps trying to get me to wear these shirts because apparently they elicit an intellectual response from people. You know, my pops doesn't even know I'm here. If he knew I was wasting my time on a board game, he'd be livid. I think he'd be livid with anything that doesn't have an A-plus written somewhere on it.
Robert. Your move, Herbert. Getting a bit ahead of ourselves, aren't we, Kev? I mean, I've been ruling this piece since the start, so... God, Kevin, you're such a fucking freak. Have you ever been able to read a room? Because if you can't, I haven't seen it. You're socially illiterate. I know for damn sure that... I know damn sure that Miranda deliberately stays away from you. It's not in your head. You're a bottom-feeding mouth breather. You're worthless. Look at you, you're out of breath moving sandstone. I've never had a good time with you, Herb. Not once. Fuck you, No, sincerely, fuck you, Herb. We've been playing chess for what, three years? How many times have you let me breathe? Half the time, I, I, I'm not even here. I'm, I, I'm, I'm somewhere else. Playing with you, no, 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 being, being in the same room with you is suffocating. Why? Not because my dad wants me here. Not because I'm a prodigy. But because you're guaranteed to be the one sitting across from me. You have no friends! You're a fucking helpless asshole, you know that? It's like you enjoy suffocating the life out of me because no one else can suffer your leeching. And you know I can't leave because my dad would rape me. And your dad? Fuck you! What makes you the golden boy? If you're so golden, you wouldn't get beaten by an asthmatic sissy bitch like me who can't even talk to anyone. Much less Miranda. I think we should play a different game, Kev. <laughs> 